hi guys welcome to my channel today <laughs> yeah so if, my name is Nelo if you're new welcome and if you're old welcome also and as usual I have my sweetie pie right here with me okay well, today's just going to be us talking let's chat and let's actually talk to each other one-on-one -on -one. okay so the other day I was watching um, Jamie and Nikki I love that family like I love to watch vlogs these are the people that actually inspired me to start vlogging Jamie and Nikki um, Patricia Bright Latoya's life yeah this I love this I love watching them all the time and also there's this white family I can't remember their names anymore the Sakon, Sakon Jolies, yeah, I love those guys too. So yeah, I was watching Jimmy and Nikki um, the other day and I think they put up, they put up this video and people were like, yeah, uh, Nikki is pregnant, Nikki is pregnant. So Nikki was like, okay, her period was a day late. So she was like, ah, this all these people are like, are pregnant, are pregnant. Maybe they know something that I don't know, you know. <laughs> so she went and bought pregnancy stick and tread and um, she found out she wasn't sure pregnant. Hmm. So she found out she wasn't pregnant. Yeah, and then she said something to Jamie. She was like, "Is it is it weird? Or this is, is it crazy that you know I was you know that I'm kind of sad that it didn't turn out positive?" And Jamie was like, "Yeah, it is. It is weird. Like we're still dealing with this one child, <laughs> and you're thinking of bringing another one." And so, you know, I could really relate with that emotion that she had. You know, um, when when the test turned came out negative. Um, some of you, I haven't, in fact, you guys don't know because really I haven't said this anywhere before, but I recently had a miscarriage and um, it wasn't even for, like, I just found out that, you know, I think it was like a week after, you know, I didn't see my period and then like seven days later, you know, I was like, oh, okay, initially when I didn't see my period, I was like, oh my God, looks like I'm pregnant. And I wasn't really planning on getting pregnant then, so I was like, oh my God, looks like I'm actually pregnant. And then, as in denial, you know, because I was like, oh, I don't want to get pregnant now. But then later, just a week, but within that okay. one week, yeah, within that one week, I have gone through so much emotion from, you know, um, not wanting the pregnancy to embracing the pregnancy. And, you know, there's something that I really love to do. I love to shop. Like, I love to window shop. I love to online shop, you know, just basically go through sites. Like, I could just, that is my pastime, actually. That is what I did to pass time. So, you know, just within a week of not seeing my period. You know, I'll be going through the shops and I'm like, no, I won't buy this, no, I won't buy this, no, I won't buy that. It's not going to be good for my pregnancy period because, you know, I just start, everything I was doing in my life, I was just, uh, just within one week, I started building my life, you know, like around that um, pregnancy that, you know, that didn't happen. So, you know, um, when... After I read, you know, I my period came out, I was like, is it is it that, you know, did I have a miscarriage or wasn't I pregnant? Was I just imagine? But you know your body, so I knew that something was definitely wrong. So I went to the hospital, the doctor said I should do a test, I did the test, I found that it was positive, I went to the hospital, you know, they did everything and finally it was a miscarriage and I felt really, really sad, like I felt like I don't know, you know when people have miscarriages, especially when it's very soon, like in my case, it's, nobody thinks, you know, nobody really mourns it, you know, it's, it's not taken seriously, it's not like something happened, but the fact is, just a day of, um, you know, finding out that you're pregnant or thinking that you're pregnant, there's this bond that starts to grow between, um, you and that child i know it's a week and it's probably too soon like emeka didn't really take it like anything you know because it's just even emeka didn't really take it like anything like i went i came back i still made dinner you know life was just life was just going on as normal you know but i had this sadness there was this this sadness in my heart it was like you know a bond that was just starting to grow, like, you know, something, it was just yanked away. But the pain, it might not, the pain might not be as much as, you know, when you lose 
a child that you already have or when the pregnancy has advanced but even if it's a day of you know thinking that you're pregnant there's that bond that grows and in the other day i was um, going through instagram and there's this lady mother puka she was talking about miscarriage you know and how women would have miscarriage today and then the next day you know they they'll have miscarriage the next day they're going to work like nobody really understands what women go through and even women don't talk about it because you know we don't even we don't mourn nobody allows us to mourn the baby that wasn't you know it's just fine it's still it's still a fetus it's nothing but nobody really thinks of the fact that as a mom or as a woman once you begin to feel that life inside you once you you have it in your head that there's a life inside you, there's a bond that starts to grow immediately. And um, um, there's this guilt that comes when you miscarry. You know, you're also thinking, could it be something that I did? Was it because I didn't want the child in the first place? Was it because I was, um, I still feel, I still, sometimes it still comes to my head. Even though the doctors, you know, they will assure you that miscarriages happen. You know, and it's not really because of anything that you must have done or not done. But you're a human, and then you ha you just think, is it because I was drinking alcohol? Is it because I tried to work out then? You know, and all those. <laughs> is it because of the exercise? Is it because of, is it because of that? You know, you just keep going through all of that, and you don't really talk about it. Everything is in your head because. For some reason, we just don't talk about miscarriages. I mean, if someone lost a child, you would, you know, you would listen, you would let them mourn, you would hear them out, you know. But if someone has a miscarriage, it's just waved off. You know, I just want to share my experience with some of you out there. So, if there's anyone out there who's gone through the same, you know, I told my friends, I was like, oh, I had one, so, but everyone just, there's so much hush hush against um, miscarriage, and so people don't talk about it, and so people don't understand how they feel when it happens, and so nobody actually takes it, um, nobody actually thinks that, you know, you should mourn it. And that's just that. Oh. Yes, it's emotional. So if you've had a miscarriage, I just want you to know that, you know, we feel you, you know, and that if you want to mourn, mourn your child. I made that mistake. Me, I didn't mourn the child because I really didn't. It wasn't until, you know, I saw that I was on that mother pick up page and I could see other women talking about it. That was when, you know, I could feel what I felt then, you know. I didn't even give myself that room or that, um, I didn't give myself that room to mourn because, Obviously, nobody is, is like, oh. But it was something that actually happened to me, that happened inside of you, and you, and I felt it. Like, you got a feeling in my voice just, you know, talking about it again. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And if you've had a miscarriage, hearts, hearts, we're going to have another baby, and we're going to love again. We're going to rise. We're a woman who is strong. I love you guys. Bye. Bye if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.